Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to do a quick video. Yes, I do have the PE800, the Brother PE800 embroidery machine and I've done a few videos on these on this machine already. I do like it, but the hoop was too small. I got this from Walmart, okay? And I just found out that we had a, um, a sewing company, a sewing store in my in my in my town. And I didn't know that and I finally researched and I found out that we had a sewing company, so um, I went there today to see what kind of machine I can get that um we had that would have a bigger hoop. Get the Jonomi 500E because I know it was only it was well you know one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and it um had it come with four hoops and I was scared to get that because people were saying that it don't work. You had to basically it don't have the same files as the brother files do as far as the images and stuff go. And you got to try you got to format it a different different kind of way so i was like i really want a brother so when i was there the, the sales guy said he has a nice machine for me and this is the brother nq 1600e i was like okay cool he told me i said what size does it um the hoop he's like an eight by ten i'm like okay you're sold because basically the jo jo um know me was um 1900 well close to 2000 basically 2000 and it, it came with four it came with four. Uh, it came with four hoops, but the biggest hoop was um, a seven by nine by eleven. And when he told me that this one came with an eight by ten, I was sold. I was like, as long as I get eight inches across wide, I will be fine. But then I get home, and I find out that the hoop is not that big. The hoop is only a six by ten. So I'm very upset about that because I really wanted the eight by ten. And I also, and this is the eight. This is the um. The hoop, the six by ten hoop. Okay, this what came with it. Let's see it better about the, the thing on there. Okay, that's the eight by the six by ten, and then this is what came in, in with the machine. And I also bought another hoop just because I wanted to. It was like one hundred thirty dollars, which is very expensive. Um, I got this one, and this one is uh, it was a seven by five. Okay, so I got a seven by five hoop, and then I got a six by ten hoop. I really wanted the eight by ten, so I'm. I told the guy about it. He's like, "Well, I'm so sorry. I it was so much going on with this. They, they've been rushing around in the store with everything going on, or whatever." And he told me the wrong hoop size. So he told me I can bring this back and get the Janome. This was right here it was only fourteen hundred. This is fourteen. I think this was like fourteen, a little bit over fourteen hundred dollars for this machine. And then the Janome is nineteen. So he's like, "You can just bring it back, and we, we and I just basically give you the other one when it comes in next week." So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I'm scared the Janome. But the files is gonna be hard to. And when I when he sold me this machine, he told me the Janome is not no good, and I should get the Brothers. And um, it's gonna be hard to format the disc and you know the images for the Janome and everything like this. I was like, so he really discouraged me from getting the Janome, which was okay because I really wanted to stick with Brothers. And plus, this was cheaper. This was cheaper than the, um, the Janome. This was 14 something, and the, uh, the Janome was 19 something. So I was really like, okay, cool. He's really trying to help me out because it's cheaper. But the side, I would have been sold if, the, if it was 8x10. I would have been sold. I would have been very happy. But, you know, I got this one. This is the 5x7. And this is only a 6x10. It's only one inch wider, you know? I was like, am I wasting my money? Um, I, And also, he told me this right here, this machine basically skips. It basically cuts the um, jump stitch. Would be great because I hate cutting jump thread on here. So, we're gonna, I'm going to do a really short video and see how big the image is it comes out i'm gonna find the same image on both of these it seemed like this is a wider screen which look is much wider than here than this one over here i'm just gonna probably find let me see a simple image probably do it all one color it says they said a lot of things coming here a lot of um images coming here in this machine let's see sorry i'm holding my phone because i don't have my tripod up I'm gonna just do one image. This, this come with 55. Okay, and let's see what this one come with. The screen is much bigger and brighter on the other one, for sure. This one comes with 
51. So, woo -hoo, a couple more images. I just wanted to show you why it was going. I got the same image. Here's the size of this one. It's 10 minutes for this one, okay? And over here, it's eight minutes, because of course it's smaller. But this machine is much quieter <laughs> than the other, uh-oh, my thread about to, got to put my thread top on. But yeah, this one um is much quieter than the other machine. It gets smooth, smoother. This one's kind of loose. When it, it moves, it, it wiggles. Okay. But um, I like this one because this is a slide on. You can slide this tray on, and it slides perfectly. You don't got to wrestle with it. On the other hand, with this one, you have to really wrestle with this. this really, sometimes it's really hard for me to get this on. This tray on. I mean, this hoop on. I'm sorry. The hoop. Um, I like this because this one basically cuts the jump stitch. You don't got to worry about cutting no jump stitch, which I heard, but I haven't had a really big project with this yet, so I'm not sure. But this one, I know I've did a couple of things on this on this project, on this machine, and I had to cut the jump strips, and I can't stand cutting the jump strip, um, the jump stitch. Okay. Um, I might keep both of them, y'all. I know it sounds silly, but I can be doing two projects at the same time, and the hoops are big enough well this of course this hoop is way bigger than this one but i did order some more hoops for the um pe 800 i got these up on amazon y'all i got this the, uh, i think it's a four by four for this one and this one is a little bit bigger than the five by seven no this is the five by seven and also had they came with the five by seven and this is a little small one two two by something i don't know i'll tell you right here then this one is the five by uh 12. now you can't have the whole image big like this one it won't be that big but i can put two images together okay on this in this hoop i can put two images together like a name and then another image okay without changing the hoop okay so here's the sizes right here it came with um the uh one by two and a half four by four uh five by seven and the five by twelve and this one is 34 dollars on amazon y'all but they, I, there was some people that was complaining about it. Some people were saying they liked it. Some people that said they wasn't. Some people said they didn't like it because it was hard to get the um, hoops on the hoop, on the machine. So I'm gonna try this out before this end. Before this, I'm gonna try this out before this um, video is over, and I'll let you know if it's hard to get it onto this machine. This is for the P E A hundred. These four hoops, okay? It's only thirty-four dollars for the four hoops on Amazon, and then this one was one hundred and thirty dollars from the, sh the shop that I got my um the brother 1600 okay so this like I said, this one slides so it's really easy to use it just slides on in there as you can see and this is the seven by five okay which is bigger okay with the this one came with the um five by seven so it's the same Say seven by five and five by seven. So let's check and see this one. And this is the one I oh my thread got stuck, of course. Ah, you got stuck around here. I don't know how that happened. So I gotta re-thread this. And I'll be back. It just got stuck up here. Okay, I just want to show you the results really quick for this video. This was the heart that I um stitched with the PE 800 Okay, perfect. Everything was fine. I didn't have any issues with this, but I had an issue with this because my thread kept on getting caught up in the machine. Like it, it'll, this right here will wind up and it would basically hit this up here and get stuck. It happened twice. So I don't know, maybe I had to play around with it a little bit longer to see if, if what's going on. Maybe it, it was, wasn't was tight, but it was tight. But see how loose it is now? And it, get, it, get, it got caught up there twice. So we'll see, um, play with it a little bit longer and see. I know it's just an issue. I might be doing something wrong. I'm gonna play with it, but that, like I said, for it to get caught up twice, that was kind of odd, okay? So, which when they got up, caught the second time, it broke the needle, it could basically rip the fabric, okay? But I didn't even do the back stitch, I just left it alone just to get ready to get finished with this. But look how big this heart is compared to that heart, okay? So, I might end up keeping both of them just because the hassle. I want the, the I do want the um, Janome because it does have the seven by not seven point nine by seven point nine hoops, which I would love to have that. But I'm so scared that it's not gonna work with my um I use a brilliance.
and I use I have a Mac computer and I don't know if that's gonna people come up saying you gotta have a different kind of file or format for the Jerome or whatever. So I see I'm like probably play with it. The guy told me today is Thursday. The guy said the other machine should be in by Tuesday. And he told me um I can bring this one back on Tuesday. So I make up my de my decision. I make up my mind by Tuesday. But please leave your comments below. Do you have a Jerome? I think it's called Jerome. Genome. Do you have a Genome? I believe that's how you say it. Um, let me know how you like your Genome. I want to get the um the one with the they come with the four hoops. Okay. And I believe that is the yeah the Genome MC five hundred E, and it comes with four four hoops. And it, the biggest hoop is come with the seven by nine by eleven which is bigger than both of these hoops this one is a um like i said this hoop right here is a um it's a six by ten and this one is a five by seven and i really thought this was going to be an eight by ten i would have been okay with that and i thought i was getting a better deal because did you know me only came with eight by eight seven by nine seven by nine and this one came by eight by eleven so i was like oh this is gonna be really good but no it's a six by ten so i thought i was getting an eight by ten so please let me know how you like it, you know me, and if it's hard to um basically format your USB to put inside the machine. And I know I can't use my other fonts because I will be keeping my brother's um I will be keeping this one, PE eight hundred and a Janome. So I have so I want two embroidered machines because I'm gonna do a lot of business, have a lot of business going on, and I want to make sure I can have run two machines. So I might keep both of these. Or I might just get the Genome and then the Brothers. But I want to be able to have the formatted files to go with both of them. Okay. And I also have the Brothers 620, SE625. And that's just used for sewing. But it is an embroidery machine also. But I'm just going to use that for sewing. Okay. So I'm going to have to worry about keep on switching it back and forth. The, ha the biggest hoop for that is the 4x4. Four four, okay. All right. So tell me what you think. I do like this machine. It's quiet. It's bigger. You know a little bit bigger only an inch you know a little bit bigger and it does cut the jump stitch okay this one um i like it it doesn't cut the jump stitch but everybody has this machine and i know y'all will be loving it if i keep this one so i can do more videos on how to work this one because everybody's getting this machine because it's a good price this is only 600 something dollars and let me know what you think about my review and which one should i get should I, if you have a genome a genome Please describe in the bottom. In the, please describe in the comment below. Let me know how easy it is or how hard it is to um, format your files for that machine and to, to put it inside of your machine. And I use Embrilliancy. So can you use Embrilliancy? Would you know me? Thanks for watching. Until next time. Be blessed.